Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for September 22nd to the 30th. This is for Capricorn, Capricorn Rising, and Capricorn Moon, and we're going to jump right into it. As you can see, we're just going to the end of the month, to the 30th, So, uh, and we kick off this week on Sunday, September 22nd, officially moving into fall. Happy fall, everyone. Y'all, we're here. I'm excited. Um, and spring for everyone in the Southern Hemisphere, all right? It's equinox. It's equinox. It's a big shift. Okay, we're, we're it's a big shift um, because we're also moving into Libra season on that same day. So, what does that mean for you, Capricorn? Big focus next four weeks. Big focus on career. Okay, career. Tenth house energy. Career, fame, public recognition, honors, achievements, even you know leadership, social status, things like that. You've got uh, from the get go. You'll you're going to start feeling this shift or even like adjustments there. But the other thing is relationship could be a big focal point for you if you're not for I mean Capricorn rising obviously you're you're gonna feel like this big career energy but every Capricorn is gonna feel it and you are Capricorns <laughs> you rule the natively rule the 10th house like y'all y'all get it um so partnerships in career in work in love romance uh, whatever it is like there there may be something here okay even friendships I'm gonna talk about that in a second for you particularly Capricorn all right but just know you may be adjusting now okay or even the way that you see partnerships relationships in any of those capacities because uh remember libra is you know in the, the south node is in libra all right so there's something here that's adjusting changing uh you know for you and it may be a week where you're going to be asking yourself questions like am i ready to leave this behind OK, uh, especially work related. There may be something there. Um, what has kept me in balance? Uh, oh, what has tipped my scale? Remember, Libra is a scale. It's all about balance. I mean, do you feel harmony? Those are, you know, you may be asking these questions. Uh, what can what should I do for balance or even rebalance right now like i said this equinox uh it's it, it's happening between two eclipses it's just it's going to be a strong that's, that's not very common so uh just know that you may be considering some options weighing some options here uh we are in a period of transitions and then mercury as you can see will move into libra we'll talk about that in a second but second but that could bring that harmony that you're seeking okay that could bring that sense of justice that you're seeking or fairness or uh even like that balance when it does come to like career matters that you're seeking or just you know partnerships one-on-one -on -one commitments it's like mercury and libra is it, it really is kind of like smoothing things out it's sort of like making a bed right like smoothing out the wrinkles it's like that so uh just know that like with libra season again for the next four weeks it's aiming for symmetry in your life all right that balance in your life and this is in mind body spirit as well inside all right uh, just uh you possibly may be social too you may be really 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 social and I say that because, well, first, Venus will square Pluto on that same day, okay, on, on Sunday. So remember, uh, Pluto moved back to your sign. We'll be there until, I think it's November 13th or so. Uh, but either way, there just could be something here just to keep an eye on in terms of you may be feeling intensely about money matters, finances, or just deeply in this transformation uh, that you're seeking when it comes to career. Remember, re Venus is still in Libra at this point, 10th house of career. So just know that there could be something that you feel intensely this day because not only do we enter Libra season, the sun moves into Libra, Venus squares Pluto, but then Venus moves into Scorpio. I mean, it's a loaded day from the get go. Now, Venus and Scorpio, if you saw your monthly forecast, I said this is edgy, this is spicy, this is intense. Venus and Scorpio is 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 pretty intense, and you know some people love it. I mean, I I I, I mean, Venus and Scorpio for me is that's my tenth house, that's career. So it's it's different for everybody, right? But what it is like, I want you to think of. I don't know if you ever saw the movie Twilight and I don't remember which one it was I don't even know if I saw the movie it may have been a you know commercial or trailer for it but there was that scene when Kristen because it was so long ago but that scene where Kristen Stewart like cut her hand on an envelope and then all those like really hot sexy vampires were just like Arr! like licking lips and stuff I mean like that's Venus and Scorpio it's like I want it 
I love it. I'm going to have it. This is mine. This is mine. This is so a lot of like seduction, a lot of passion, even just like a Twilight movie. Okay. Uh, and with that said, Venus and Scorpio can bring up those low frequency energies of like jealousy, secrets. Pluto is, you know, the... Um, underworld right scorpio okay rules the underworld uh so things coming to the surface it, it, like uh, big time all right so for the next two weeks i mean there could be some like telenova moments but just know venus and scorpio is in your 11th house and that's why i was saying friendships earlier because that it does rule uh friendships groups you belong to communities you belong to maybe even social media there could be something here for y'all but it's also your hopes and wishes and dreams so you could just be intensely in the moment, like really a lot of creative energy here. So intensity and creativity, like you could be thinking like, I really want to be the next yo-yo ma, whatever it is, whatever you want to do, Capricorn. I mean, you do you. Venus and Scorpio is going to make you just feel that passion. OK, uh, especially again, it can be with friendships, too. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. There's there may be a focus on love and money big time with Venus and Scorpio for y'all as well, as well as investments. And when I say investments, investments in love or relationship or investments in, you know, career money, making money or, you know, actual literal investments like stock market stuff or whatever. I mean, <laughs> just remember one last thing. OK, don't forget Mars is in Cancer. And so, again, I mentioned this in your monthly forecast. You've got Venus in Scorpio, the scorpion with the stinger. You've got Mars and Cancer, the crab, the pinchers. Emotions can be really heightened around this time when these two, and they're water signs. That's why, okay? So emotions can be heightened around this time. Just remember, you just want to be, just stay frosty, be cool. You're going to be fine. Now, Mars and Cancer, as you know, is going to be here for a while, all right? We're talking months because of the retrograde that's going to happen. Uh, and that is your opposite sign. So partnerships and relationships, you know, Mars and Cancer is touchy feely. There could be like emotion, like really, you know, emotional moments here uh and not in a bad way it's just like remember it's part of your emotional growth and working on like developing emotional growth but regarding partnerships and relationships so you've what's happening for you this week basically like other people are going to be involved either way <laughs> in your life all right so just use your emotions to for actions that's going to raise your frequency all right always for that high frequency now you'll see that this week actually really belongs to mercury by the way um this is the uh, venus actually doesn't make any aspects until about october when it's in scorpio like the first week of october but you see mercury making all these aspects mercury hermes right the olympic god uh he has a, a megaphone at this point he's got the podium right so mercury the planet of communication of commerce of intellect of thinking of uh, new things learning new things of even uh long uh, sorry short distance travel uh could be um, a big focus for y'all all right so uh, there could be something here with mercury and libra also just making sense of things when it comes to career or something that you're exerting all your energy into that you want to be known for especially through the lens of peace justice harmony diplomacy everything that libra stands for now um tuesday so i think that you will like mercury and libra and you are going to make more sense of you know things that are, whether it's partnerships and relationships uh whether it's even like friendships and groups you belong to or even like your future hopes and wishes and dreams or career okay now mercury uh will try and uranus on tuesday september 24th love it love it I absolutely love it. You could get some, uh, well, A, this is great following the sun trine Uranus last week. This is communication. Remember Mercury, the messenger and communication. So yeah, you could get some really great groundbreaking news. <laughs> That's really exciting um, around this time. Uh, some breakthrough that you may have even like intellectually, this big intellectual breakthrough. Uh, but it is, Taurus is in your fifth house. So when Mercury trines Uranus in Taurus, um, I'm sorry, yeah, when Mercury trains Uranus in Taurus, that rules your fifth house. That could be something that just brings you a lot of pleasure, joy, recreation, uh, procreation. Think of the word create, creativity. All right. That's all part of the fifth house. And uh, so, yeah, you could hear maybe you actually having a baby or someone in your family's having a baby. Remember, you still have your North Node in your fourth house of home and family. Uh, it's also here uh, children, maybe news about children um, and love and relationships. I mean, this is a great place to 
have this trying uh, that's all I'm saying uh, so really really wonderful and again it could just be you like having these like brilliant like breakthroughs uh, the 25th so the day after this is Wednesday September 25th it's not on the whiteboard here by the way all the great asterisks the, the best aspects aspects of the week um, the 25th Mercury will oppose Neptune so this is also, you know, Mercury is known as like the trickster. And this is kind of like where we see that side of him, right? When he's in this opposition with Neptune. Remember, Neptune does, uh, is in Pisces in your third house. So you've got Mercury, the native ruler of the third house of communication, glaring at Neptune. They're glaring at each other. Neptune, who happens to be in his home right now. <laughs> in Mercury's home, the third house, you've got Saturn here too. You just had an eclipse here too. So uh, he's like, get out of my home. But anyway, they're there. So basically what this is saying, Mercury is all about the facts, all about intellect, all about logic, being practical, pragmatic about these things. And then Neptune brings that fog. Neptune's like illusion, delusion, confusion. So this is all about cutting through that fog. Okay. There could be some things you hear. You just have to say, you have to ask yourself, is this real is this even real um and this is you know as, as i mentioned your monthly forecast this is one of those times where um you know sometimes you need that fog okay to know your truth so uh same day mercury will try and pluto just right after that this is absolutely enormous for you Capricorn, remember Pluto has moved back into your sign for you know at this point it's going to be another like two months this can be uh, something here where you do have this really important conversation. Maybe this is with a partnership, relationship. It can be with career, okay? Just know there may be even you like sleuthing at this point because remember Pluto, eighth house activity. I mean, this is like secrets, okay? Secrets, things coming to the surface. Like you really need to know something here, especially after that uh, uh, Mercury opposing Neptune. But anyway, this is just clarity. And it could even be within you, like secrets that you want to reveal, things that you haven't told. Like I, I, I feel empowered. Pluto is empowerment. Pluto's in your sign. So you, again, could have like a very important conversation. This is in your favor, by the way. So if you do need to have a conversation, this is a great day to do it like later in the day. Okay. So uh, negotiating skills. Yeah, it's just like you could be very influential, but also feel very empowered. Now on Sunday, you see Mars will try and Saturn. This is going to be a big deal for you, Capricorn. All right. I, I, I'm looking at this and like, okay, this is Capricorn's day. This is Mars, which is exalted in your sign trining which is auspicious saturn which is your ruling planet and so wow this is this is really this is going to be a big deal all right so this is uh basically you've got this full tank and you're ready to take on the universe you're ready to just get going all right uh this is the two malefic planets actually working in your favor doing something special for you take advantage mars wants you to take action take advantage of this anything that you do this day could lead to this long-term like goal okay uh open up the doors for that remember saturn is chronos it's time has that long long haul energy that long-term energy so i really love this for you remember mars is in cancer in your seventh house partnerships relationships there could be something here saturn and pisces your third house communication also siblings aunts uncles cousins neighbors could be a big thing as well but just take advantage of this communicate and take that action now lastly we end the month with the sun conjunct mercury on september 30th mercury kazemi we've got uh, this is amazing okay we have kazemi's uh several times a year this is in libra all right so this is when mercury is in the heart of the sun that's what a kazemi is think about that alignment it's this refresh it's like the sun is like cleansing mercury and so this is a reset in your mind as well mental clarity this is the clarity you've been seeking the justice fairness balancing your scale all of that this is the day everything can start coming together remember uh, this mercury kazemi in libra your 10th house of career so or fame or public recognition or something that you just want to be known for something that you're putting a lot of energy into it could even be the fact that you want to be like you know known as like the super mom within your community whatever it is like you're you whatever you want right but again this is the 10th house so a lot of it will have to do with career or even just fame how people perceive you um so this is this is a really great great aspect all right so again you just may have 
huge clarity around this time. So let's get started, Capricorn. What a week. What a week, Capricorn. Let's get started. See what's going on for you for the week of September 22nd to the 30th to the end of the month for Capricorn, Capricorn rising and Capricorn moon. Mmm, Capricorn. Y'all look great today. Thanks so much for being here. I listen, I'm still recovering, so I really appreciate your patience. Um, I, I'm, I'm there. I'm like, I'm like at my finish line. Okay. So it's, uh, they, I really appreciate all your kind words continuing like to send me all the messages and, and comments. It really does help. Um, but yeah, I'm still, uh, it, 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 I, I should be better very, very, very soon. All right. So, uh, Capricorn, I do a traditional called a cross spread. It <laughs> offers the best overview in my opinion. If we need to pull clarifiers, you know that we will. Secondly, y'all are amazing. Thanks so much for being here. Let's Let's see what's going on for let's see let's see what's going on i i mean okay yeah this is another powerful spread um i don't even I like this is you're good you're good you can see that you're good here you can see that uh you know you just there's a sense of power coming into your own everything's working out in your favor uh i love this let's get started queen of pentacles Amazing. Amazing. Okay. So, uh, first thing that's coming through is like, there is a sense of you really being in this place where it's not all about you. It's all about comfort for people within your world, within your orbit. And sure, it can be colleagues. Sure. It can be family. Sure. It can be your squad, but there is a sense of like selflessness and there is a sense in like trusting yourself, uh, that brings us confidence where others seamlessly just like trust you. So that's a big energy coming through. And I really love that for you. All right. And I feel like there is this big moment of, of you maybe having, and it may be really profound in terms of, uh, having the resources, especially with, as with the queen of pentacles to take, take care of those people, um, in, within your life and even building the world that you want to live in. I mean, she does have the, she is the richest queen. Okay. And there is, again, first looking at your spread, there could even be this new like sense of self that you're going through right now. I wouldn't be surprised with Pluto moving through your sign again for the last time. All right. So it's that settling things up kind of energy. Uh, but you know, the queen of pentacles has so many, there's so many references here to the magician, by the way. So, um, again, it's just kind of like blending like spirit, spirit with passion, with action to make things happen for you and your world. And there's a sense of growth and fertility, which is really special. Now you also, and she is Capricorn, by the way. Uh, uh, you see the your symbol here, the seagoat in the her throne, but you got the hair font in the heart of your spread. So wow, there you go. I mean, really coming into your own. He is a big spiritual leader, the hair font. He connects us, or he connects the divine, our our in our physical world. Um, but this is just you. Just remember what I said. Um, I think in your monthly forecast structures it seems like there's maybe structures um that you are creating new systems new structures in your life there may be even some that are you're holding on to like traditionally because it makes sense for you but you're adjusting them in so way but either way it's to feel like this empowerment and again people looking up to you because they see you as this role model and they see you as like even like this teacher someone that people can learn from but at in the same time on on the other side of the coin it's you also feeling spiritually lifted feeling that you've you've got uh, you know words to give things to give like uh that is spiritual abundance that spiritual wealth i really love that here this is really wonderful a lot of wisdom i think that there's gonna be some clarity that you do get this week uh first you've got the king of cups in your challenge area so um keep in mind there may be someone uh <laughs> so this is really funny the king of cups when you know the king of cups in your challenge area the king of cups is very emotionally stable very mature emotionally but like in your challenge area now so there could be someone in your life that you just meet may they may be like codependent they may be like emotionally not mature this week they may be not seeing eye to eye with you about something also i would pay attention to anyone that's bottling up their emotions and you're seeing it come out in ways that you're just like oh you need to actually talk <laughs> you need to talk you need to communicate all right and you know you you're in this position where 
they can come to you and they can talk to you all right so um just keep that in mind there may be something there and again it can be a fr- like king of cups is uh scorpio by the way and so remember i said venus is moving to scorpio this week in your 11th house of friendships and groups you belong to organizations you belong to so any of that could resonate but even still it is just you know king of cups energy all right just someone's emotions may have some sort of like impact on you and have that conversation if it's in a way where you're just not seeing eye to eye you do have justice in your crime but that's great that's amazing this is uh the week of that (laughs) remember i said everything is all about that balance and harmony and uh you know making sure that your scales are balanced uh justice in in your favor you're you're possibly seeking justice uh you asking questions like am i doing the right thing here trust your intuition the second thing is just make karmically sound decisions and you'll know that you're making the right decision but i love this because it is like you've got these you've got the hair font and justice you see the columns here i'm going to show you the the pillars from you know like so you've heard of the story of solomon like from the wisdom of solomon so these are like from solomon's temple it's that wisdom it's just wisdom right so seeking that wisdom for your greater reality your greater truth this is just absolutely amazing it I, you in the seven of uh, pentacles in, in the rudier spread so the seven of pentacles is saying that you know this is a week where you may be thinking about yeah when i say investments whether love whether money whether career whatever you have put blood sweat tears into heart and soul uh, this may be a week where you're questioning like is is this enough for me or do i need more <laughs> you know with Venus and scorpio and, and so uh that's the thing all right so there may be something here where you and if you are on the right path if you recognize like yeah 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 everything's there, everything's cool i that's i'm good then maybe you've come to a point where you can just sit back a little bit because you, now like you've worked so hard that things can grow on their own but I'm really getting more of a feeling of like, okay, one thing that's coming through is like maybe a lot of y'all are moving into, you know, kind of stepping out of that work area of your life and putting a lot of emphasis in like home, family, things that bring you pleasure or joy outside of work. Okay. So there may be something there where that may be connecting with you this week. Uh, But there's definitely some like money's going to be on your mind. I mean, you've got these. Uh, you know three pentacles like it's gonna be a thing um and you see that it's just you only got pentacles and then you got these two major arcana king of cups in your challenge area i'm gonna clarify this seven yeah okay and then the chariot so yeah it a lot of this is going to be partnership relationship related okay just to let you know that may be something in your mind whether career whether love whether romance i'm not saying it's like good or bad i'm just saying that balance you're going to be seeking that balance even like a fairness justice and, and and whatnot uh because you did get the chariot and this is all about moving forward so this is someone who's looking back right and so you don't want to be in a position where you're constantly looking back and saying did i make the right th- choice is this the right thing to do am i gonna should i make this decision uh the chariot is he's not looking back he's moving forward like not even turning his head back, like not even waving back to anybody. Like he's moving forward because he's found that willpower, that strength, that courage. Like I've got this, any dualities in my life. Remember, we're talking about that balance here, right? And so this is uh, really great. And the chariot is cancer. And remember, you've got Mars and cancer and your seventh house of partnerships relationship. So a lot of that could resonate with you. But again, if not, if that's not like a thing, it's just saying, asking yourself like what have i invested into like maybe even just thinking of something that you've invested into at this point whether it's a relationship again whether whatever it is just like okay let me just take a step back and just process things that's all it is you have the six of pentacles and so what i love about this is well two things actually you got the only two cards where they hold the scale so balance really is going to be a key thing for you this week like that's that's no that come on that's a thing that's a thing uh I'm going to show you the scales closer. Okay. So, and the second thing is that um, what makes this very interesting is that you had the six of pentacles in your crown last week. And so it's almost like everything that you've been like 
it's like you manifested you manifested this that support that generosity that balance that even like spiritual wealth i mean this is really great there is a sense of like taking action in order to actually like kickstart all of that energy of like give i mean look at how giving this you are this week. it's just so special it's so there's so much kindness here there's so much selflessness there's so much in six is you know everything is just harmonizing it, it's it's beautiful everything here is beautiful for you okay i love this for you capricorn let's get let's get to your stuff um capricorn oh my goodness if if you like this reading by the way it'd be great if you like subscribe leave comments secondly did i mention i love I, I the lighting did i mention the lighting like your reading, I felt bad that it was in the dark last week. And so like, and I love the lighting now, but you're still going to see it's like, there you go. Okay. It's getting a lot lighter. Anyway, let, you know, I love y'all. All right, let's get, let's continue. Oh gosh, you're, you're going to be, you're going to be good. There's, there's, you're definitely going to have some emotional impact. It does seem like there may be something that you're going through. I'll do this. I'll do this. Where, yeah, you may have to make that decision and you decided to move forward in this way where you feel empowered. There's no way I could do this. Where, Anyway, let's just get started. You got the seven of wands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, uh, it seems like you've been fighting for something and it is, you know, this card is all about valor. All right. And it's been what you've been wanting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like you've, you're getting a lot of this. So when you get a lot of the same cards from your last week's reading, you know, that's what just life is, right? Like we're just like, it's progression. Like we're moving the next week to week. And so it's, it's, it's a big sign. Okay. It's a, it's a really big uh, sign. This is all about your values, your self-worth. Like you are fighting for that. All okay? right. And you're doing a really good job. Remember you are standing at the top of the hill. You have the advantage here. So I, I love this. I mean, this is part of your transformation. Um, be part of your transformation and have that transformation that you need that it's, it's only going to serve you like really well. Uh, especially cause this is a Leo card too. Um, and that Leo does rule your eighth house of transformation. Now you have the three of swords. There are swords in your external factors area. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there may be some emotional healing. Uh, if again, if you look at what's happening here, a lot of what I said about partnerships and relationships, and now you just got the three of sword attributed to Saturn and Libra, Libra card. So again, it could be partnership, it could be relationship, and it could also have to do with career. There may be something that's happening where you're just like, okay going to go through these emotional experiences um i'll even clarify the three of swords for you oh yeah you're go you're going through it you're having this spiritual moment you're having a really big spiritual moment and it seems like you're going to understand that whatever happens it's it, like remember this is releasing things we're this week okay whatever happens this is your journey this is your sense of empowerment this is your sense of like okay I needed that moment to see that, you know, I, the meaningful life experience that, um, I'm going to make in my life, like even more, you know, meaningful it, because a judgment, that's what it is. You see Archangel Gabrielle here blowing the trumpet sound healing, right? That frequency, that sound heals the dead arising. Now the dead are gray. Great in tarot is wisdom. You've got so much of that. You got it in the heart of your spread with the wis remember wisdom, justice. Anyway, you're seeking that and you're getting it. And you're having this profound awakening, this wake up call. This is big. This is really big. All right. But it may take a little bit of uh something ending or some just like emotional impact that you're going through with this three of swords. Now I do want to remind you that even though you know we refer to this as like the heartbreak card or the heart eight card. At the end of the day, it is still a sword suit. So up here, okay? So up here, um, and with Mercury very active this week, I just want you to, you know, communicate. Don't hold anything in. Um, that King of Cups could be you too, now that, that these are pulled, but it just don't bottle anything up, all right? But uh, bigger energy is it is going to be someone else. Um, and then you have the Six of uh, Swords. So uh, amazing. Keep moving forward. This is, remember, Swords. So up here, just uh, like I like this, you got this last week. Okay, you got this last week. Just moving forward, moving forward. But in this headspace, we're just like, okay, 
not going to turn back. Whatever's happened, it's happened. I get it. I accept it. I'm learning from it. I'm growing from it. It's all about this emotional growth, but also up here, just, you know, it is the mental suit with the swords. You see my finger in the turbulent water and they're moving into the promised land. <laughs> There's like, no, it's like going from chaos to calm. All right. Now, uh, and it's what you're seeking and you're going to need to take those actions, right? You're seeking that justice anyway, that fairness and harmony and balance. And then the king of pentacles and your final outcome, you started with the queen of pentacles. You got the pair here. Uh, and the king of pentacles, you know, the queen of pentacles, very giving king of pentacles, very also he's protector energy, very big protector energy provider. All right. Uh, very pragmatic, very practical about things as well. There is a lot of like you protecting family, thinking about family, significant other people you care about. Again, like I said, for the beginning, like other people are going to be involved in your life this week in a big way. And you see that here, but King of Pentacles, really great. The richest king. Okay. Someone who holds the golden scepter that creates all this abundance. Only one of two people in all of tarot that do that. So this is really, really wonderful. All that wealth, anything he touches turns to gold. This is in your final outcome. You're moving in this place where, uh, it's your take. It's like uh, the difference between the queen and the king, by the way, uh, the queen, their energies, all the Queens, their energies are more internal. Whereas in the king of pentacles all the kings their energies their powers are more external all right so even like mm, you know like let it be known let it be known right so uh you're good you're absolutely good um sorry wait let me put that back there yeah, you are definitely going to have, uh, and again, you, it's almost like things that you've wanted are happening. Things that you wanted from last week are happening this week. You are definitely becoming this stronger, more powerful, uh, visible person. Someone being heard. So it's someone who, um, is going through a big spiritual journey with the judgment, Herophon, and then you've got like justice. You got that six of pentacles, which is really great. Again, balance may be a big theme that you're seeking this week. And with that three of swords, yeah, there could be something that you are, uh, just emotional experience that you have, but it brings this profound awakening with the judgment card there. Like I, I know what I, I know who I am. I know what I want. And like, I needed to see that. Um, and it's moving you in the right direction with that King of Pentacles, uh, that you can look forward to. Okay. Like money, money, money. That's money. I mean, that's money. That's Pentacles, money and wealth. Uh, so anyway, and that's going to be a big theme for you as, as you know, when Pluto does move back into Aquarius, but Venus will move into Aquarius, even in like the end of the month. Anyway, I'm just looking at like what's going on for you for your second house of income salary. Um, anyway, let's see what I mean. Uh, no, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, Capricorn, thank you so much for for tuning in. If you like this reading, it would be great if you like subscribe, leave comments next week. We'll do October. OK, so I would not be surprised as we kick off October with the eclipse in Libra, I would not be surprised if a lot of y'all have changes with career, all right? Career, fame. Fame could be a big thing, all right? You could be the next Yo-Yo Ma. <laughs> uh, or, you know, public recognition, honors, all of that. Um, or just whatever you're exerting, you're, you know, everything into that you're passionate about. Anyway, let, let, Capricorn, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. I will see you next week. All right, bye-bye.